Hey guys, welcome to my 24 week update. This week, Baby is the size of an ear of corn. Um, he's also the size of an Atlantic puffin, which is like a type of penguin. Um, he's also the size of an eggplant. And he's also the size of a G.I. Joe doll, which I don't really understand the difference between a Barbie doll from last week and a G.I. Joe doll from this week. Aren't they the same size? I don't know, but according to my app, he's the size of a G.I. Joe doll. This week, Baby can raise his eyebrows. His face is basically fully formed. Um, he's just waiting for the fat to like fill it out, as with his whole whole body. Baby is growing hair all over, but the hair lacks pigment, so it's just white hair all over. His eyelashes and his hair and everything else is just white. Baby's ears and fingernails are now completely done growing. Also, supposedly starting now, Baby is starting to develop his um, taste buds, and so he can now start to taste what foods that I am eating. So that's kind of fun and I guess that just means I need to start eating a little more healthier so that he starts wanting to eat healthy things once he's older. <laughs> this week there's really not that much new. As far as my sleep goes it seems that one week I have great sleep and then the next week I have terrible sleep. So last week I had great sleep. I wasn't waking up in the middle of the night to pee. I was sleeping through the night like everything was great. This week terrible. Uh, one night um, I woke up at 4 a.m. and I could not go back to sleep at all like until Grayson woke up at like 7. It was terrible. I just I couldn't get comfy. My mind was going like crazy a million miles a minute thinking about things and I just couldn't fall asleep. I'm having trouble getting comfy um, in bed trying to find like a good spot. My back hurts a lot and my belly is just getting bigger so it's like I have to get in certain positions and then um, baby will go crazy when I'm just laying there because I'm not moving so he's like it's party time so that doesn't help either. So yeah sleep has been really really tough. I've been really tired this week. I've been hungry a lot more. I mean every week I feel like my um, my appetite grows. Um, I've been eating a lot of snacks and just wanting, I've been wanting my meals a lot earlier. I've been wanting to eat lunch at like 11, sometimes 10.30, like I get so hungry, and um, dinner at like 4.35, like I'm just so hungry all the time. I get tired easily a lot. Now that it's warm outside and it's summer, I take Grayson on walks around the neighborhood, and once I get back from those walks, I am wiped out. And like all I'm doing is walking and pushing a stroller, and I am exhausted when we get back. I always need to eat a bunch because I'm like so hungry, I can't stand it, and I have to sit for a while because I'm just so tired. I don't know if it's the heat or if it's just like I'm making a baby. I haven't been able to get out much because it was winter and I didn't go on a lot of walks. I don't know, but man, those walks wipe me out. Um, I've been feeling baby, although he's still pretty lazy. Like, I don't feel him that much, um, but I do feel him mostly in the evenings or if I wake up in the middle of the night, I do feel him. Um, he does a lot of, like, quick jabbing like this. Um, I still feel a lot of him, like, hitting my cervix, like his hand or foot or whatever is going to like pop out. <laughs> um, I also feel a lot of jabs like up top as well. I think he's head down, um, I'm assuming, but I mean that's not something to really worry about. I'm only 24 weeks. It's crazy to think that next week I will be halfway through my uh, 20 weeks. Like it's just going, this is going really fast and I'm still having the issue where I just don't remember that I'm pregnant. Like I just forget that I'm pregnant. I'm busy chasing Grayson around. Coronavirus has taken over. I just stay so busy that like half the time I forget that I'm pregnant. People ask me like, oh, how are you doing? And I'm like, what? <laughs> but um, I mean, definitely with the kicks, like it reminds me more, but I still am like very forgetful that I'm pregnant. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm still really excited about this pregnancy. I'm excited about this baby. I just, I don't know, I just have more going on in my life, I guess, that I just can't just focus on this pregnancy. I don't know. My moods have been um, a lot better. I've been really stressed lately just with like coronavirus, my sister's wedding, and like everything else. So I have been more stressed lately, and I'm trying not to stress too much because I know that's not good for the baby. But yeah, I have noticed I've been stressed a little bit more than usual. This week, since I'm 24 weeks, was supposed to be my next doctor's appointment. I said this in my last video, my 24 week doctor's appointment got canceled due to coronavirus. They want um, their pregnant patients to come into the office less and less to have less exposure. So um, they have canceled the 24 week. My doctor said that not really nothing much really happens. They measure your belly, you listen to the heartbeat, and they just tell you like symptoms to watch out for if you're going into like early labor. Um, but since this is my second pregnancy, I, I mean, I kind of get the gist of it. And she said I could call at any point if I have any questions, but I've been feeling great. I mean, I'm still in my second trimester, so I've been feeling really good. So yeah, unfortunately, no doctor's appointment. Uh, I have to wait a whole nother month, less than a month. I think it's June 23rd is my next doctor's appointment. And that appointment that we will do the gestational diabetes test. I believe I'll be getting a Rogam shot because I have negative blood. And also I think I'm getting another shot for whooping cough or something like that. Uh, maybe it's a tetanus shot. I really don't know. But I'll, I'm sure, I mean, they'll explain it to me. I just can't remember. It's been really, really hot. It's getting really hot outside. It's like mid 80s here in Ohio now. And so just going outside, I'm like, oh boy, this is going to be a long summer. So the other day I got my bathing suit on and I got in the baby pool with Grayson. We need a bigger pool, but that's what I'm going to have to do because I get so hot. My belly gets so hot. We were outside this morning and it was like 70s. It hadn't even heated up all the way yet and my belly was just sweating like crazy. <laughs> oh gosh. My belly, I will do the belly shot for you. So you guys, this is a miracle. I'm actually wearing a tight fitting shirt in one of these videos. Usually I wear a very loose shirt so you get the tight shirt you today I guess. Here it is. Getting bigger. Definitely look pregnant. My belly button is growing out. It's about to become flat. Last time it popped I think. So I'm getting bigger. I do feel like an awkward turtle at times when I'm laying down on my back and I try to like get up <laughs> from the bed. Like it's like I have to like really put a lot of oomph into it to like get up <laughs> because it's like so hard with like all this on my belly. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I did find some maternity clothes. Um, the Old Navy was having a sale online. Gap was having a sale too. They were 50% off everything, but I didn't like any of their maternity stuff. And the ones that I did like, like it was only an extra small or extra large, which I don't fit. But Old Navy had like 20% 30% off everything I think and so I was able to get a bunch of shirts for like nine dollars So I was really excited about that It's gonna take a while to come in the mail with the coronavirus slowing the mail down But eventually I will have more maternity shirts, which is good because I am quickly running out of shirts to fit into Tomorrow um, we have my son Grayson's two-year-old photo shoot and we are also gonna do one family photo, so I'll have one picture of me and my bum about halfway through, um, and so I will make sure to post that either here in the next video, depending on when I edit, if I have the picture or not. I'm very excited about it. It's actually not going to rain. We have had to keep um, rescheduling this because of the rain, and it's been too cold. Now it's like perfect. It's going to be like, it's going to be hot. It'll be like 81, 82. We're doing it at like 7, so it'll be... Like, the sun will be right in the sky, so it won't, shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, we're, I'll have one maternity picture. Well, and then I'll have one picture at my sister's wedding, too, which is less than a month away. I've been really thirsty lately. I've been wanting a lot of cold drinks. I've been putting a lot of ice in my drinks. 
Um, watermelon is back in season because it's summer and I just love watermelon so I've been eating a ton of that. I've been craving a lot of sweets still lately. Last night I was really craving a milkshake and we have a Chick-fil-A that's like less than five minutes away from our house but of course it was Sunday and they're closed on Sunday so I could not get my milkshake. I've been really just craving cookies and sweets like that's just all I want all the time. I've been getting more headaches lately I've been noticing um, so I've been taking medicine here and there. Um, it might also be because I'm having not a lot of sleep at night, so my head is pounding. <laughs> Another thing is heartburn. I've been starting to get heartburn a little more. I've had to take Tums twice now. Um, I do, usually I get it at least once a day, but usually like it'll just go away as fast as it comes on, and so I don't have to take Tums, but there have been twice, two times, that it just hasn't didn't go away and so I did have to take Tums, but I feel like I'm having not as bad of heartburn this time compared to last time. So that's been really nice. I'm sure it's going to get worse as I get bigger, but for now, like, hey, it's pretty good. I've also been peeing a ton. When I drink coffee, which is rare, but when I do, I pee like crazy. Oh my gosh, I pee so much. And so, like, if we're going in on a long car ride, like, to Toledo or whatever, it's like two, two and a half hours, I have to, like, try not to drink a whole bunch before that, because even if I pee right before we get in the car, like, I have to, I won't be able to make it the whole way. Like, I pee so much, it's crazy. I've been feeling more cramping, like I've been saying in all my videos. I think it's just the uterus stretching. Um, making more room for baby. It's nothing to be concerned of, but yes, I have been feeling like cramping here and there. No contractions or anything, or Braxton Hicks or anything like that, but I'm still like super early on. But this video is like way long. I didn't think I would have this much to say, but anyway, I'm going to end it here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, let me know who you are, if you have any questions you want me to answer for you, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!